Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. My face so oily, really. So I pray to you guys are having an amazing day. And if your day is not going that good, sweetheart, just keep traveling, keep keep treading those miles, them steps, and just know that it will get better. Okay, and for those of you who are, who are having an amazing day, praise God for you, and I'm happy for you. I am here, like, God is, like, so amazing, okay? Um, wow, God woke me up from a dream. Hey, Alfina. Hey, Miss Laura. Look, God woke me up from a dream this morning. And the dream was, um, come from Proverbs, Pro I mean, no, Psalms 10. And he was talking about the wicked. And, um, hey, you look, Alfina. So I told y'all when I start looking, I'll be forgetting but okay, get back to the word, get back to the word. So you see the head and says, how can you, I mean, how can you surrender if you don't believe? Man, when I heard that this morning, I heard it in the song, and then God was, you know, was speaking to me about this and that. How could you surrender if you don't believe? Surrender is a form of like, not my will, God, but your will. You, you giving it up. And how could you believe if your marriage would get better if you don't surrender to, what the, to the power of God and what the word says? How do you know if your job it will ever get better it, uh, unless you surrender? You have to believe. In order to believe something, you, in order to surrender something, you have to believe. Like when you surrender something, anytime you say, okay, I give up, you are allowed protection, provision, and placement when you surrender but in order for you to do that you got to believe when you believe there's protection provision and placement okay believe is your faith it's, it's trusting God I, I believe it I know this shall happen you speaking on it you standing on it and you believe in it and when you believe it you had just surrendered and that caused you to be protected provided for and placement take jesus for instance jesus was in the garden in the garden of gethsemane right and this right here was this was right before his final hours of like dealing with the crazy the foolishness with people while jesus was in that garden he said father take this you know take this cup away from me but while he was on his knees as he was going through his agony, when he was going through his pain, the torture was in his mind, like just seeing and just knowing all things, what was about to happen. God allowed the angels to come from heaven to minister to Jesus. And as the angels began to minister to Jesus, it was no longer, Father, take this cup away from me. It was more like, Father, not my will, but your will. While Jesus was bowed down on his knees, he had he believed in the reason why God allowed him to come to this earth. He believed the purpose that God had for him. He believed that I know I came here for a reason. I know there is something that I need to do. I know that I need to finish this. But even in his human part, Lord, take this cup away from me. But when the angels began to minister to him, which means they began to encourage him to let him know you are not alone. You are strong. You are a conqueror. And when Jesus got that strength from the one who was ministering to him, what happened was Jesus' belief, belief went and uh, played a part in surrender. Not my will, Lord, but your will be done. And when he did that, per, um, provision, protection, and placement fell on the whole entire world. The protection was when you sin, when you do something that's not according to God's will, when you do wrong, you have a protection because of what the blood of Jesus has, has allowed. You are protected from, from hell. You are protected. So, well, Lord, I ask you to forgive me. You, you can have a relationship with God. He protect you. No, no, no. Yeah, he protect you. Provision. Even though that you are not worthy. Even though you know you ain't, we ain't worthy of nothing, like nothing with our filthy selves. But because you believe in Jesus, because you have surrendered your way to not my will, God, but your will, 
I surrender your will. I surrender your way, God. God will provide for you. And when you believe and you surrender, then you will have placements. Placement is to be in the right standards with God. To be right back in the fold with God. To be in a placement with God. Like when you die, heaven will be your home. By Jesus believing and surrendering, he allowed protection, provision, and placement for our lives. So I want to encourage you. If you believe the, the, the word of God. If you believe that Jesus is the son of God, that he came from heaven, from his earthly throne, come to earth and die for each and every one of us. If you believe that if you just say, Father, forgive me for what I've done. If you believe that the Lord has forgiven you. If you believe that that marriage can get better. If you believe that your job can get better. If you believe that your finances will get better. If you believe that your health will get better. And when you believe and you surrender, baby, you are being protected, provided for, and placement. God is awesome in his word. He is awesome in everything he says and everything he's do. He do. But it's, 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 it's us. Jesus believed. He surrendered his way. I want to encourage you to believe. Believe the word of God. Believe this message that God had given me to give to you. Believe it and surrender of your way. Surrender of your way of thinking, your way of speaking, your way of walking. If it don't line up with the word of God, if it don't line up with the word of God, if it don't line up with the word of God, let it go. Surrender your way and let Almighty God come through for you. Let Almighty God and say, hey, my child just believed like my son believed in the garden. My child just, just, my child just surrendered, just like my son did. One thing God was showing me when he was telling me about that message, he said, Jesus had a purpose, but it was until when he kneeled down and prayed that he surrendered. Even Jesus himself had to surrender. Kneel down in your faith. Kneel down in your disbelief. Kneel is in a posture of like surrendering, of honor and reverence. When you kneel down and you believe, allow God to minister to you. Allow the angels to um, minister to you. Allow with the word that you have heard from your pastor or somebody else that was encouraging. Allow that to minister to you. Uh, allow that the testimony have God has brought you through before. Allow that, allow that to minister to you. When you allow the good things of God to minister to you, baby. Honey, that's when you're going to have your strength and your power to get up off your knees. And you surrender and know God's going to do what he said he's going to do. God is going to do what you believe that he would do. That's the word for God today. How could you surrender if you don't believe? You got to get your belief in place. Your belief in place. And when your belief gets in place, baby. You know that song that say, are you down with the PPP? With the, oh, no, no, no. Is that it? Yeah. I'm down with the OPP, PPP. Something like that. Anyway. It was just playing in my head. But you'll be protect, uh, provided, protected, provided, and placement. Y'all have a blessed day. And know that God loves you. And you are not going to lose out. The only way you're going to lose out, baby, if you don't believe. Y'all have a blessed day. Later, butterflies.